Hello, my friends. How are you? Uh, Trey Reckliff here. I'm going to show you the new Luminar AI and some really cool stuff about it. Uh, this is basically pretty much replaced Lightroom for me. It just gets better and better, and these guys are geniuses. Uh, I'll show you a little bit about it. I'll make a few videos. Uh, this one's going to be about landscape. I'll make another one about portraits and people just to show you around a little bit. I highly recommend you get it. The link's uh, down below. Okay, so um, as usual, uh, you can see all of your pictures in this nice catalog format. Uh, we're going to go work on this one. This one I took um, a couple days ago on the way to Mount Cook here in New Zealand, where I live. So it's got these cool templates now, right? And um, you go pick, you know, what kind of template that you're into. Uh, you know, maybe you'll go here for scenery, and you click on scenery, and you get just different options. And as you roll over them, um, you get to see what they do on the left. And um, so you get all kinds of options. You can even see in this one, it swaps out the sky. It's incredible, right? And um, I don't know how it does it. You can go tweak these things later, which we'll do. We'll tweak this at the end, but it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, simple, clear skies. Um, so let's go pick a different one. Let's go pick, uh, I don't know, uh, sunsets, hey? And then click on these, and we'll see different kinds of tones. So it doesn't just do the sky, but it does the, the whole thing. And you see in this case, it actually swapped out the sky totally for these clouds. I mean, look at that. How cool is that? That's why they call it Luminar AI. Technically, I don't know if it's really AI. A lot of people kind of throw around that word nowadays, but hey, let's say it's AI. It's much more intelligent than me. Let's call it superior to Trey AI, which is not, not saying much. Um, yeah, isn't that cool? I mean, how cool is that? Okay, then, so you don't have to use the templates, right? That's just sort of like, but it's great though in a way if you're a beginner or you just want to do simple edits to your photos and you don't want to play with all the bells and whistles, this is all you need. And if you find it to be too extreme, you can always adjust the strength of the, uh, of the uh, preset there or the template. Okay, so then if you want to do some more stuff, you know, get more cray cray, you go here into edit and this is where you get all of the other options, right? So these are the four tabs here, basically essentials, creative, portrait, and professional. I'll do portrait in the next video. Uh, but of course in composition, you can go recrop it. You can go adjust the light how you want to. It's all the same stuff that Lightroom has, just plus a lot more, right? Um, there's this kind of just smart enhance, right? Which actually technically gives it a little bit of an HDR look in a way, right? There's the sky enhancer which lets you play with it till you like it. Every photo is different, so it's kind of fun to play around. Um, of course, structure makes it a little bit more painterly, which I kind of like, you know? Um, and then uh, one of my favorite things is, oh God, there's just so much stuff in here. I'm not gonna show you all of that, just, but get in here and have a good time, okay? Uh, I'll, come on, Apple warnings, how dare you? Uh, if you don't like that sky, you can go pick a different sky. Um, pick Sunset 2, and that looks pretty good. They got some great stuff in here. Um, dramatic Sunset 1. And then you can also go to Advanced Settings. Um, you, you can change, you can flip it around the other side. Flip it like it's hot. Um, you can make it a little out of focus. There's just a lot of options. Um, this is one of my favorite ones called Mood. You go into Mood. And this kind of changes the overall feel of the photo, right? Uh, some of these are pretty extreme, but you can also dial them back, you know, find something that you like. Uh, well, that was pretty nice, Manhattan. Nice, so we can amp it up and bring it back. Yeah, there we go, so look at that. So a little bit of before and after. Um, it just gives you so many creative options um, and it's easy to use. Uh, I find it to be even easier to use it faster than Lightroom, and it's so much more powerful. So just, uh, yeah, give it a run. Uh, you're gonna have a good time using this tool. All right, and I'm about to make a few more videos, so just uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and uh, and you'll see the rest. All right, guys. All right, guys. All right, guys. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.